we're looking at state and privately owned vehicles, uh, municipalities, cities, towns, whatever, um, in Wisconsin. They are sold on auction. The uh, website is wisconsinsurplus.com. Uh, they are sold to uh, anybody. You don't have to be a dealer to get in there. Uh, what I'm showing here is some recent results of what uh, vehicles that have sold. Um, the first one, this, uh, let's see, I've got some saved in tabs, and of course the tabs go the wrong way. Uh, Ford Fusion, 2014 Ford Fusion, sold for $4,800. Uh, I've looked that up on Carfax values, and the uh, private party value is 6000 So typically the auction value is more of this trade-in number. So the uh, 3710 is what you'd expect to see. But in this case, the, uh, the vehicle sold for a little bit more than that. On any vehicle sales, there is kind of a bottom line of uh, what, the, what it's going to sell for. Um, basically, uh, you get to the point where everybody's in the market. Like a car that runs and drives is usually worth at least $2,000 just because it runs and drives. Um, these are inspected. They have a, uh, they give you a decent idea of what uh, condition the vehicle's in. But uh, definitely no guarantees. It's a uh, sold as is. So first example, sold for a little bit more than your trade-in or what would typically be your auction value, but less than your private party, and definitely less than what you'd pay at a uh, car dealership. Um, this is one that they have that's, uh, yeah, you can't really get numbers on it. It's got a salvage title. It's got damage to it. Um, 1,300 miles, sold for 11,950. And as a salvage, uh, it's gotta be inspected before it can get uh, titled again or be driven on the road. But even something like this, I mean, for a project or a body person or something, that's probably uh, gonna be, uh, you know, a decent project. Um, 2019 Ford Explorer. Now these are typically uh, then as police vehicles. And I actually bought a vehicle from this this auction company. They claimed it wasn't a police vehicle, but then when I got the title, it said previous police vehicle. But yeah, you can see like the. Uh, the mounting, usually the interior pictures will tell you, um, you know, that it's got different things for mounting the uh, police equipment. And this one definitely has the, uh, the mounts for police equipment. And let's see if I looked up the value on this one. And of course, no, I don't have the value on this one. But that's a 2019, so newer one, seven thousand dollars it went for at auction, and it's got 166,000 miles, so quite a few miles. Um, wanted to pull this one as an example of uh, ba your basic transportation. So this went for 2,500, 25 dollars. Um, there is um, a buyer's commission on these. And it slides by price, so if you're bidding on auction, make sure you look that up. Uh, but like this truck, uh, apparently runs and drives. I mean, functional, maybe not pretty. Only has 64,000, 64,912 original miles. Um, the interior is rough, but I mean, possibly you could fix that up. I mean, uh, the the price point is just incredible in today's market that you're getting a pickup yeah it's two-wheel drive and it's uh, kind of old at this point but still it's only 2500 bucks so um, definitely some deals to be had there uh, Ford Fusion 2014 uh, that one sold for 4800 and the uh, looking that up um, it sold for above trading value, but below the private party value. Um, they on a dealer lot, so you're probably going to see that for close to eight thousand on a dealer lot. So definitely a good price there. One hundred forty thousand miles. 
Your condition report. There is some images of the vehicle to give you an idea. Looks like the uh, finish is coming off all the buttons. I don't know what that is. What other ones do we have? Okay, Dodge Dakota 2011, uh, Bighorn, almost 200,000 miles, sold for $3,500. So yeah, it's got a lot of miles. Possibly has some issues. I believe I've got that one for the value. So basically private party, 4520, and it sold for 3,500. So it sold for below private party value. So same thing, much better deal than going to a dealership. Keep in mind, part of what you're buying at a dealership is you're buying them uh, servicing it, cleaning it up, doing the inspection. On this, uh, these particular state auctions, they do have uh, a, a basic inspection. It's not a safety inspection like what a uh, vehicle in a car lot would have, but it gives you a, uh, a general idea. Uh, Dodge Caravan or Caravan, um, 2014, 130,000 miles. I, I, a little rough, but I mean, probably comparable to another one that you're going to find uh, with similar miles. But I was a little surprised that that went for uh, 5,300. That is a little bit below the private party value. Private party value is 5,770. And the trade-in value uh, on Carfax is $2,980. So years ago, I would have expected, especially something like this, you know, a very common vehicle, I would have expected to sell for that trade-in value because typically that was the auction value. Back when these auctions were in person, um, I would go to them and I bought vehicles. I bought a few over the years, you know, like the, with the long span in between. Um, and the people I'd be bidding against would be uh, other car dealers. So then I knew that, you know, I was, I guess, in the right place because I was bidding against other car dealers. So you know that if you're bidding against other car dealers, then uh, you're going to be better off than going to a car lot to buy it because you're kind of cutting out that middleman. Um same thing here. So we've got another um, caravan, 130,000 miles. I mean, tolerable condition, a little bit rough. Uh, but not like, well, not like some of them. But similar to another van of the same age. Just showing some pictures to give an idea. But then this sold for uh, 4650 and as I record this, it sold today or this morning. So up to date, up to date information. Um, definitely not selling for what I would consider auction values, but this is a uh, auction that private parties can bid on. So maybe it shows that it's just hard to find vehicles and they're buying vehicles where they can get them. Um, you know, maybe paying a little more and it's not just uh, car dealers that are uh, that are bidding on them. Um, this is the website. I always just put VIN in there when I'm trying to look at um, vehicles. So vehicle identification number, because you should say VIN and the number. Um, and then here are the vehicles coming up. So I'm definitely watching some of these. Um, the prices are somewhat all over the place. Uh, some of the police vehicles are more sought after, but some of them are more beat up. But you can look up the uh, the value and that auction value. Typically, these are going to sell above, so trade-in value. They're going to sell uh, typically at least that and a lot of times close to private party value. And if it's something a little more in demand, a little bit above private party value. But almost always below that uh, wholesale value or uh, almost well, always below the retail value, I'm sorry. Uh, but a little bit of everything. I mean, this is where you get the, like the old uh, ambulance to make into, I don't know, plumbing truck or whatever. Fire trucks. Uh, a lot of the heavier equipment. The heavier equipment's just harder to um, track and get a book value on. 
but uh, this, if, if you're looking for a pickup, this is probably the place. If you're looking for a pickup and spend as little as possible and maybe do some work, this is probably the place. Because they definitely get some trucks, but some of them are in really rough shape. Yeah, here's another salvage one. Um, every state sells their vehicle somewhere. There's lots of different websites. This website is unique to Wisconsin. I don't think this company is in any other state. So each state has got a, a different system. This is a private company that sells them. So there are other companies also that are selling vehicles in Wisconsin. But thanks for listening.